Ahoy Buccaneers and Buccarinos, my name is Captain Logie Stone, and I am here today to talk to you about my most hated decks of Year of the Dragon, because I, there were decks this year that I just could not stand. I hated them. I hated fighting against them. They were always so perfect and so good at what they do. But if you want to hear me talk about what my favorite decks of the year was, there's that video over there, so you can have fun with that. In the meantime, you can like the channel, you know, like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, you know, do the whole song and dance thing. We do Overwatch videos on Tuesdays, Hearthstone videos on Thursdays, and new gear videos every single Friday. So without further ado, let's just go into it. Let's just talk about the decks that I hate the most, because that's what you really want to come here for. That's why you came here in the first place! You knew what you would do! Nature will rise against you. You ever just wanted to fight a, like a deck that just makes really, really big minions, like all the time, and then makes those minions cheaper because it's like there's all certain tribal cities and the like? That's basically what fighting in Big and Druid is like. You just it's just a war of attrition of just, oh look how big my minion is. My minion is so big, you can't do anything about it because you can't target it with spells or hero powers and so you're gonna just have to run into you with your own minions. But surely you have enough minions to run into my minions with. Your minions are probably super well stand, right? Because you're also playing a big and druid, right? No! Nobody's playing a big and druid! Except for the people who are playing a big and druid who just want really big minions. And they're big and they're stupid. I don't like it. I can't do anything about it. I have to just run my minions into it, and if I don't run my minions into it, well, guess what? They won't die. And if they don't die, that means I take damage to my face. And if I take damage to my face, I lose. That's bad. I don't like it. Big Druid is just... Ugh. I just don't like fighting, like, a giant freaking... And it's like, what is it? Is it like plus two plus two is what they get? Sure, they cost one more, but then it's like, oh, well, what if I just play Kindle Roost? No, no, they don't cost more. They just cost less. <sighs> Big Druid is ridiculous. I will hunt you down. See, back at Rise of Shadows, I would have probably said that Mech Hunter is absolutely the deck I hate the most from Year of the Dragon. Because, you know, Mech Hunter is basically really aggressive, really stupid, really just nah, and you can do about it. But you know what's worse than Mech Hunter as it turns out? Face Hunter! Pure, raw Face Hunter! Because that deck is literally just dedicated to being as brainless as possible. Did, did you realize they made an entire side quest that's just deal six damage and then we'll summon six more damage to your field and then you'll just kill everybody with damage and then they just they play all these little spells like oh we're gonna do the one shot that is a twin spell so it does another shot we're gonna play arcane shot we're gonna play explosive shot we play misdirection miss freaking direction of all the secrets and under you can play, you play Misdirection! The one that just makes it so it's like, Oh, you just killed out my entire board? Well, I guess you can attack my face. Oh, is that the only minion you got? Well, guess who's gonna take the damage instead of me? Oh, I'm so smart. Oh, I'm so clever. Look at me. Look at the interactions I'm doing. I'm so little... Do I look like I'm a brainless little person to you? Do I look like a ridiculous stereotype of some sort of comedic nautical traveling character for you. Do you think I'm here for your amusement? That's entirely why I'm here, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. Look, Face Hunter is terrible. It's degenerate, it does nothing, it's brainless, it's just like, it's just, it's just the deck that's just like, oh hey look at that, is that your face right there? BAM! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you in the face. Let me just play a little card. BAM! Oh! Oh no, did I hit you in the face again? BAM! Oh, uh, who would have seen that coming? Oh, oh, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it! Oh, BAM! Oh, I'm so smart! Oh, I'm so clever! Ooh! I can't tell I hate Face Hunter because I hate, hate Face Hunter. Stupid, stupid, brainless, stupid, degenerate stupids. STUPID! Think I'm just too white and nerdy My magic will tear you apart Remember that time frame when Blizzard was like, hey, we're gonna take some of these old cards from the Boomsday expansion, you know, the best expansion out of Year of the Raven, and we're gonna make them better, you know? 
We're just gonna make them all better. You know, nobody's playing these cards anyway. What's the worst that could happen if we just buffed all these cards? Big Highlander Mage, that's what could happen. This deck was totally overpowered. Luna's Pocket Galaxy, as it turns out, at five mana, was ridiculous. Seven mana was exactly where they needed to put it, apparently. Five mana was just dumb. Those times when they could go on a turn four play coin into making all of their minions cost one. No. Never again, Blizzard. You will never do that to me. And you, you know who you are. If you played that deck, you knew what you were doing. You were making it terrible. You were maximizing on the value of every single card you played. And how is anybody supposed to compete with a 1 mana 4, 6, deal 10 damage split across all minions on the enemy side of the board? Who's going to, you know, do anything about a 1 mana 4, 12? Oh, your spells cost free! Oh, but here's a spell for free. Heck, even nowadays they still play with his pocket galaxy. I'm glad, you know what? I'm glad that's rotating out. Who needs that? I don't want it. You don't want it. Nobody want it. Except for people who want it. But you know what? They don't get it because that's going out, and I'm glad. But obviously the five mana version was way worse. Like, that was just bad days. Bad days. Hated it. Justice demands retribution. <laughs> Remember when Saviors of Old Doom came out and it was basically like, Paladin, what are we doing? Are we mech? Are we secrets? Are we dragons? What are we? Oh, you know what we are? We're Murlocs now. Why are we Murlocs now? We have... The, the Paladin just had this whole weirdness to them last year where it was just like, we, they were having like this whole cultural identity crisis. They were just kind of like swapping masks. They were like, oh, look at me. I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. This is who I am now. This is what I want now. Don't you like this? Don't you see what I am? But you know what the worst part of all that was? Murloc Paladin. Do you understand how stupid Murloc Paladin was? There was only one card. One card that supported the idea of Murloc Paladin, and that was Tip the Scales. Do you want to know why Tip the Scales was good? Well, it was because Prismatic Lens existed. Excuse me, existed isn't the right word. It exists, period. It is still around. It is still a thing. And nobody plays that deck anymore. You want to know why? Because it's stupid. It was a ridiculous deck that basically all I had to do was get to turn four. Oh, turn four, oh look at that, oh look at that, it's prismatic list. Guess I'm just gonna get this super uber expensive spell and make it like one to three mana. That summons seven murlocs. Seven murlocs! Suddenly there's this an entire aggressive force out of nowhere and you're just like, why does this work? Who, who play tested this? Who said this could work? And it was just like, if you didn't have an answer to an entire field of Murlocs, Highlander Hunter did, but like, if you didn't, you were basically screwed. There was nothing you could do, there was just a bunch of tiny little Murlocs going <laughs> See, I don't like it. Especially when they get the war leader out, they get the charge plan out, they get all these little things out, and all of a sudden, there's nothing you can do. There's just two murlocs. How can you beat them? Oh, 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 oh. But wait, what if we got the Cold Light Seer in our hand? And then, what if they didn't die? What if, hypothetically, we just opened a bunch of murlocs, and then suddenly, if we got this thing on the next turn, we only killed one, and then we got a bunch of health. Suddenly, even your good plans suddenly fall through. And they could do that on turn five. Why does every good deck do some random nonsense on turn five? There is no reason Murloc Paladin should have existed. There's no reason it should have been a good deck. There's no reason it should have been a tier one deck. Murloc Paladin. Hate it. Stupid. Pick a sign. Pick an identity, Paladin! It's either gonna be secrets or dragons. That's what you set up in Rise of Shadows, and I don't know why you changed it! Paladin was very frustrating last year. That's all I'm really saying. The light shall burn you. 
LET ME PUNCH YOU IN THE FACE! Have I ever expressed how much I just hate priests as a class in general? It's almost a good thing they decided to figure out what they wanted to do with priests finally this year, because last year, all it was was basically what they're doing this year anyway, which is basically to say, we're priests. All we do is sit here and let you hit us. Because we got a bunch of top minions. Oh, did you get through the top minions? Well, let's bring it back. Oh, hey, you really like the fact that we brought it back? Hey, don't worry about it. If you get through that one, I got a surprise for you. Mass resurrection. I'm bringing three of them buddies back. Ooh, I'm so good at this game. There was an entire priest deck dedicated to the idea of just sitting around and doing nothing. Nothing! Why would they even need to do anything? You don't have to do anything as Wall Priest. You could just sit there. And they would just have to run their minions into you because you have taunt minions. What else are they gonna do? Attack you directly? Ain't no Kane Sun Fury in this time frame. Ain't nobody ignoring taunt. And not every class is like a bajillion silences. You know who does have a mass silence in their deck? You know? It's called Mass Dispel, and guess what? It's a priest card! So basically, the only way to deal with wall priest was be another kind of wall priest! And basically, you just know how to jump... And then it just... My wall, your wall, bam! There, that's how it works. That's how the mirror match works. Oh, do you not have a wall? Do you not have a wall? Oh, that's a shame. I guess you just got the same like, minions are gonna... Oh, I'm sorry, you got through the wall? Well then, let me just rebuild my wall with my Mass Resurrection spell! <laughs> I'm so good! I'm such a clever player! I have a lot of key interactions! Wall Priest was annoying, it was stupid, it didn't have a win condition aside from just sitting there, playing some taunts around and about, and then doing nothing! And when it did nothing, you lost! You lost because you were trying to do something, and they were just kind of like, I got nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, didn't I not say that right? I meant to say, you did nothing as Wall Priest, and yet, when you were playing against Wall Priest and they did nothing, you lose. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Bah! I will be your death. Okay, so there was a time frame when, like, you know, obviously Galakron Rogue is pretty annoying as it is right now. Don't get me wrong. I mean, why is Rogue even a Highlander deck? It's not even supposed to be a Highlander deck, but Zephyrus makes everything Highlander, Dragon Queen Alex Strauss makes everything Highlander. But don't ever forget, there was a time frame when they brought back Enzoth into Standard. For a little brief time, well, like a month or so, it wasn't that big a deal. Except Enzoth Rogue existed. And Enzoth Rogue was stupid. So stupid. All you had to do with Enzoth Rogue was play a bunch of dumb death rattle minions. Like, you know, obviously there's the usual suspects like Cartoon Defender, and then of course you play Anka the Buried, naturally. But then there was Anubiseth Warbringer. Nobody playing Anubiseth Warbringer. Nobody playing this guy. But then, suddenly, oh my gosh, what if we just brought it all back with Enzoth? That's like the same thing. Oh, we have all these death rattle minions. Enzoth is really cool. And then suddenly Rogue was a control deck. When has Rogue ever been a control deck of that kind of caliber? Don't get me wrong, Galakron Rogue definitely kind of a control deck of sorts, but at least they only have one copy of every single card and they don't have Enzoth, which was basically just like, oh, my cartoon defender is dead. Oh, my cartoon defender is dead. Oh, my cartoon defender is dead. Well, guess what? I'm bringing six of them back with my Enzoth. I hope you like being Wall Priest and Rogue, because that's basically what it is! It's Wall Priest and Rogue! Why is Rogue playing Wall Priest? There's no reason for it! Why? 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 Don't even get me started when they do get the Mass Resurrection in that Enzoth Rogue deck. I'm glad that was only around for a format, because that deck was bad! That deck was so stupid, it was entirely antithetical to exactly what Rogue was! It just makes no sense, didn't fit Rogue's flavor at all, and it was just dumb and stupid and stupid and dumb. And Enzoth was dumb and stupid and stupid and dumb. And Kurt Defender was stupid, 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 
And it was a word with the word the So dumb deck, I hated it. The elements will destroy you. So remember that same time frame where Enzoth Rogue was a thing? There was another deck that basically did the same thing. It was basically Shaman. And you remember Shaman, right? Because Shaman is like, oh, we're Galakrond, oh, we're Battlecry, oh, we're Evolve. What? What do you mean we're Evolve? For this month, we're Evolve? <gasps> Desert Hair is a great card, suddenly. Desert Hair had no right being a good card, but it was a three mana card. And you could just summon out two more three mana cards, and then you can play Evolve, and then suddenly your three mana cards, you know, your three, three, one, you know, your three, one, ones, right? There's suddenly three, four cost minions. It didn't even matter what the minions actually were at that point, because they were immediately better than one, ones. Three, one, ones? Nah. More like three, four, fours. Am I right? And that's the problem with it. It's like, and you can do it on turn three. That was even more ridiculous than Luna's Pocket Galaxy on 4! That was even more ridiculous than Merlock Paladin on 5! What's up with that? Well, actually, technically, Merlock Paladin could do it on 4 too. Who cares? I didn't ask you! Point being, Evolve Shaman was super dumb. Just... Why? Why would they make that possible? In standard, and there's like, there's even less you can do about three, four cost minions suddenly sprouting to life on the field. Like, jeez, why? It just breaks my heart, and my lungs, and my will, and how am I supposed to fight four cost minions all suddenly out of that? Three, four cost minions out of nowhere? You just basically spent four mana to basically get 12 mana worth of minions. That's dumb! Your soul shall suffer! <sighs> How do I explain this in a way that I think people will understand? Zulok is a bad deck and everybody hates it! Every single person hates it! Because it's the same strategy ever since the beginning of Hearthstone! Zulok is just, I'm gonna play a lot of little minions and I'm gonna keep drawing in life and I'm gonna keep playing a lot of minions and I'm gonna keep drawing in life. Zulok is, that's, that's just what Zulok is. That's just what Zulok does. But then they have, of course, Galakron Zulok, right? Well, we're basically Galakron now, so basically we can play some of these bigger cards, but then we got stuff like the 3 1 that gets plus 1 attack for every minion you have. Also, it summons 2 1 1s. We have the Invoke Galakron, we give plus 1 attack to all of our minions. Uh, we have all this stuff. We have Galakron himself, so he just plays a lot of stuff. But you know what the worst one was? You wanna know what the worst deck was? The one that nobody could have really dealt with. The one that everybody was like, oh, it's underrated. Oh, it's a big deal. Oh, this is ridiculous. Magic Carpet. Carpet Lock was absolutely, hands down, the most annoying version of Zoo Lock. And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh no, Galagrod yeah, Zoo Lock was totally worse. Oh no, 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 regular Zoo Lock was like so much better. Cap my Carpet Lock, psh, what's that about? You don't understand. If you didn't play in the Rise of Shadows meta, you do not understand what summoning a bunch of one cost minions, giving them rush and plus one attack? That was absurd. That was ridiculous. You could play lackeys for free. You could play the little 1 1 divine shield and just bam. You could just play lepronomes. You could play lepronomes if you wanted to. And it was basically like lepronome pre nerf all those years ago and stuff. But there's basically a magic carpet lock and there's nothing they could do. You want to know why? Because the moment you try and do something, he's going to play a bunch of one cost minions and they're going to go bam, 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 bam. There's just no getting around it. There's just, just carpet lock was just doing its thing and being carpet lock and just I hated it. I hated every second playing it. I hated going up against it. It was ridiculous. I was annoyed by it, and there was almost nothing I could do until Saviors of All Doom came out, and then nobody played carpet lock ever again. And that's the story of carpet lock in a nutshell. Nobody should play it. It's terrible. Galakrond's Zoo Warlock is better, probably, maybe not, or who cares? I don't. Don't play carpet lock. I will crush you. You know, I would be tempted to say Pirate Warrior at this point, because I'll be perfectly honest. Pirate Warrior, I never really got. I know, ironic. I know, but the pirate guy doesn't get Pirate Warrior. Okay? Ooh, what a fun time! But you know what? Pirate Warrior was just something I just didn't get. So I couldn't play it. Couldn't play against it. Whatever. But you know what was? Way worse than Pirate Warrior. Control Warrior. Let's be honest. Ain't nobody liking Control Warrior. Especially not in the Rise of Shadows meta, before the Elysian and Nerf, because that 
Ecclesiana used to be eight mana. And control warriors, heck, control re control basically got to a point where it was just like, we're gonna play all our stuff, then we're gonna play Elysiana, and then we're gonna play all that stuff, and then we're gonna play Elysiana again because we baleful bangered it back into our deck, and we're gonna play all that stuff, and if none of us was lost at that point, then I don't know what to tell you. We're not losers, we're all winners here. Ain't nobody a winner at this point, man. That was ridiculous. That games would take on forever, and it was just, it was just such a slog. That's the real big part about it. It's just, it was just a slog to play through a control v control matchup, and it was just, wait, like, why? Why would we do this to ourselves? <laughs> I don't want to spend an hour playing Hearthstone. I spent an hour playing Yu-Gi-Oh already. That's a completely different thing, and I can get at least three duels in that time. Okay? That's regulations. But this, this is just an hour for a single game. I have things to do in my life. I can't just be sitting around and playing Hearthstone all the time. I gotta make videos about Hearthstone instead. Ugh. It was just a pain. It was really just a pain to go through all that. <laughs> well, hopefully with that all of my system, uh, you guys will appreciate the time and effort. And, uh, you know, let me know what your most hated decks from Year of the Dragon were. Comment about it down below. Let's talk about it. If you want to see what I liked, what my favorite decks were personally, check that video out. In the meantime, I'll see you next week, I guess. Psh. Frickin' jerks playing your frickin' evolved shopman. Oh, man. It's like every time I go down the hated side of the list, I see the next one, and I'm just like, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, I hated that deck a lot. I need to vent. I need to vent. The memories, they're coming back.